This is the day in the life of a 20 year old college student, fitness coach slash entrepreneur. Good morning y'all. It is currently 5.12, 5.13. I just woke up, did my push-ups, did 53 of them, brushed my teeth, got ready for the day. Now I'm gonna do my daily weigh-in, have a quick bite, and then get to work. Today we're weighing in at 178 pounds. This is how we looking. Road to 10% body fat. This is the dormitory. Now for our first bite of food, we're gonna cook some water. Grab this chocolate caramel electrolyte. Just need one of these. And a protein shake. And since I'm gonna be hitting the gym in like about an hour, we're grabbing these fresh energy sunnies. I just picked these up at the store. 140 calories, but they're full of carbs. So I really just use it as like a pre-workout, like carb hit, so my muscles have enough energy for my workout. Let's get right to it. So first off, we have our water. We're gonna crush this, because we just woke up and our body's dehydrated. Here's what we're gonna do. This Premier Protein protein shake is chocolate flavor. These electrolytes are chocolate caramel. We're gonna mix them together and it's gonna taste like a salted chocolate caramel protein shake. It's gonna be really good. These electrolytes are good because it's just gonna help me get hydrated faster. For sodium, potassium, and magnesium. We have a busy day ahead of us. We got classes, we got look at the gym. I'm really looking forward to it. I just got a membership at Lifetime, which is like the nicest gyms around. Well, the nicest gym near me at least. And it's, it's super big, they have all the equipment, so I'm looking forward to it. We're gonna have this, we're gonna have some of these. Get some energy going, get some protein in our system. And then we do some work real quick and then hit the gym. So one of my daily habits is to talk to 20 new people every single day. So every morning I wake up and I send 40 DMs just to ensure that I'll have, have 20 conversations throughout that day with new people. So I start by going in my requested folder and responding to all the DMs there. And if that doesn't add up to 40 people, then I go out and start reaching out to people. And also check out my clients. Like this girl's down from 205 down to 189 in just the past like 50 days or so. This dude just joined the team the other day. He's already down seven pounds. This other client went from 170, now he's 151. We're getting him to 10% body fat. Our outfit for the gym, we're rocking the Gymshark black pants and this retaliation project, compression. It's honestly getting a little loose on me just because I'm cutting right now. Actually, we're not gonna wear this. It's too loose. Go with just this plain black fitted shirt. It's pretty nice. We got the chains. Anyone else put their chains on like that? I know some people clip it in the back. I just put it over my head. Alright, so it's now 6.49 a.m. We just finished up some work. Now we're gonna go hit the gym. We're a little bit late um, because I was just it just took a while to send all the DMs and, and talk to people. One of the most common things I hear from people is that they want to wait for this like perfect opportunity to start accomplishing their goals. Like sometimes I'll chat with people and they'll be like, oh yeah, well, let me just wait till, you know, I, my schedule clears up or let me wait till I have more finances or let me wait till this. And it's like, all they're really doing is rationalizing why they should stay the same. And usually this comes after a bunch of questions where they answer by telling me they can't stay the same. There's a version of them that did it regardless. There's a version of them that said, things are super tight right now, but I'm going to make this happen. And that's the version of themselves that deserves the physique they want, that deserves that six pack. All right, it is 7.15 a.m. I picked up a Celsius on the way here. We're about to go in the gym. I have class at 9.30, so I don't have a ton of time and I still have homework to do, which I'm just gonna do in that cafe. But today's shoulder day, we're gonna hit a little bit of chest too, so it should be a fairly quick workout, but let's go into it. My favorite way to warm up is by playing basketball. I'm just gonna shoot around for like five, 10 minutes, get the blood flowing. A lot of people like to either like walk on the treadmill or do something, I don't know. I, I just like to play basketball, shoot around a little bit. Oh! 
tired, that's a wrap. The floor is so slippery, plus I'm wearing running sneakers, so it's not a good mix. It's pretty hard to shoot around. Finish the workout, we're gonna smash these two protein bars, finish homework, and then go to class. Just finished homework, we got class in like 20 minutes, so we gotta race over here, because lifetime is about 15 minutes away. So, and plus we gotta find parking. Uh, we'll make it happen. It was a good workout, a good homework sesh. Now it's time for class. Falls under the umbrella of a situational analysis. You're gonna have insight and content. So it is now noon. I just got out of class. We had my business analysis research class, and then we had a business negotiations class. Uh, I have about three and a half hours before my next class, which is uh, organizational behavior. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go record some videos right now, get some more work done. I have to. I have a bunch of DM conversations I have to finish up, and yeah, I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. It's 3.30, I've just been sitting here making videos and drinking some diet soda. Time for class, and then afterwards, probably grab a bite to eat, but I have to finish up. I have a bunch of DMs to get to, and I have to finish those up. I have about 500 calories left, and normally I grab Chipotle, but I can't really get too much for only 500 calories, so I think I might get a 30 count grilled nugget meal from uh, Chick-fil-A. That's like around 580 calories. That might work. Oh, we'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. You guys will see me after class at 5 p.m. For dinner, we're having a big bowl of meat. We got some chicken, we got some beef, and some vegetables. All right, y'all. It is now 8 p.m. I just got done playing a little bit of basketball, just kind of shooting around after dinner. Uh, I took some calls and kind of just drove around to clear my head, and then I kind of wanted to end the day with just shooting some hoops. I didn't play anything intense. I just kind of shot around for the fun of it but now it's time for bed because i should be in bed by now so i gotta go home shower pray read the bible um and then just finish up some work client check-ins and everything like that i'm supposed to be asleep every night by 8 45 clearly tonight i'm not going to make that but it's time to race home and do it as fast as possible two of my favorite quotes that really keep me consistent on days where i really am not feeling my best i think it's from alex Ramosi. he says you don't have to be your best self every single day. You just have to do what's required of you. Because I think we can all knock ourselves down when we're not our best selves. Or we'll have one day that's really good. And then we'll have a next day where we still do what's required of us. But since we weren't as good as the day before, we start to feel bad. We feel like we're entering a downward spiral, but we're not. We're still on trajectory. That other one is by Leila Hormozy, is which is F your mood follow the plan. It's comforting to know that there's other people that are like in it with you. I, like on days where I'm exhausted, on days where I'm stressed, overwhelmed, and then I see a quote that's just like, F your mood, follow the plan, and I see like a community of people also resonating and following that same message, it, it rallies me up and it makes me feel like I'm not alone, it makes it, the journey feel less intimidating, and it makes me feel like I'm on the right track, and I think that's very powerful. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because that's something that really helped me today on a day where I still did everything that was required of me. Or my, that my mentors tell me, like, if I do this every single day, I will succeed in this business. I will accomplish the goals I want to accomplish. But I still, it was still really frustrating today and it was stressful and it was overwhelming. And I, I really, I really felt that today. So today is pretty much the end of the day. It, oh, my phone is dead, but it's like, my computer is dead. But it's basically like 8.45, I'm gonna go brush my teeth. I'm just gonna shower in the morning. Um, but yeah, I mean, today was a pretty good day. It was a bit stressful towards the end of the day. Like, I just needed to decompress. After I ate, uh, I took some calls and I just kind of went on a drive just to decompress. ChatGPT has like a voice, like you can talk to the voice. That's what I did. Like I opened up ChatGPT and I just, had like a critical thinking session just chat tpt asking me questions and allowing me to like psychoanalyze the things i'm feeling and, and 
the game plan moving forward and it was actually very very productive because my plan instead of that i was just going to go to the gym i was going to go to lifetime again play basketball and then hit the hot tub and i was talking to chat gpt and he was like sometimes the answer is addressing the deep rooted problem as opposed to just the symptom where playing basketball hitting the hot tub will allow you to blow off steam but it's not going to really address the root cause of why you're feeling so frustrated and overwhelmed and that's really the lesson of the day and that really helped me understand that just talking about things even if i'm talking to an ai a, not even a real person the act of just talking it out and allowing myself to understand what's going on made it very clear about what needs to be done and it was a very productive conversation i had and afterwards i went and played basketball for like 20 minutes and now i'm gonna go to bed every night i read my bible i pray um, I just did my client check-ins and checked in with my school community. Every night on my school community, I post, what did you accomplish today? And I write a little thing and people like to respond to that. So that's a little thing I have. Tomorrow's Friday. I'm looking forward to it. I have a busy day tomorrow as well, but we got to make it happen. We got to make these dreams come true. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what a day in my life looks like. I love you guys. And, you know, I'm going to post this full video on YouTube and I'm going to clip it up and put it on you, uh, like YouTube shorts, Instagram and TikTok. Um, all my channels are Better Lifestyle 365 if you want to check them out. Uh, my thing is I help skinny fat people, skinny fat dudes get abs in 90 days. So if that's you, then shoot me a DM, DM me the word level up and we'll help you level up in life and get you a six pack. Anyways, peace out guys. I love you.